hello and welcome back to video number five. It's the final video in the series. I hope that this has been helpful in, in any way, any, in any small way. Please if then I've, I've done my job and I'm, and I'm serving my mission. Okay. So today, as promised, we're going to talk about really what I always say, and you'll hear me say it. It's, like it's what I piece believe. in peace out. And what I mean by that is that when you generate peace on the inside, you simply cannot help but reverberating that to the world. Closest relationships in, in your home, to your work life, to your friends, to your community, and to the world as a whole. And that's why this is my mission, to really encourage people to go inside, to feel that peace on the inside so that we're all sort of beaming out this peace from the inside out. And honestly, it's effortless. When you take care of what's going on on the inside, it's effortless to put that out into the world. If you, if you don't know that, believe me. And if it's hard to believe me, make this a practice. Create some peace from the inside out. It doesn't have to be. It can be super simple like breathing. That's all I've really asked you to do every single day. And it can be that simple. But I guarantee you, without any effort, without any, you know, the next step, if you can just allow your... It can be super simple, like breathing. That's all I've really asked you to do every single day. And it can be that simple. But I guarantee you, without any effort, without any, you know, the next step, if you can just oh. allow your... To, to step into this habit, to really live some peace on the inside, you will begin to see it in every aspect of your life, every single oh. aspect of to, to step into this habit, to really live some peace on the inside, you will begin to see it in every aspect of your life, every single aspect, and it will be effortless. Because when we're not judging ourselves and when we are compassionate to ourselves and when we have peace on the inside, it just, it just pours out of us. So this idea the perfect of gift exchange, um, it is really receiving, receiving that compassion, that time, that space, um, offering that to ourselves and receiving that, receiving it so we can give it. Okay. So today it's just going to be a meditation. It's like a gift. And I want you to receive this and then go out into your world and offer it up to others. Receiving it's and giving, receiving and giving perfect gift exchange, perfect reciprocity. So go ahead and find that comfortable space. Maybe you're sitting, maybe you're laying down, port yourself. So your body feels nice and comfortable and you can just actually let it go. And then close your eyes. Breathing in and breathing out. Just pay attention to your Doing breath like you've for the past several weeks. Breathing in and breathing out. Feel your body. Feel how your belly expands on the in-breath. Feel how your belly softens on the out-breath. Feel your chest expand on the in-breath. Feel your chest soften on the out-breath. Breathing in and breathing out because the breath will breathe itself and it's been breathing itself. It's just right now in this moment, you've actually consciously and connected to it. Stay with that breath even when you get distracted by your grocery list or your to-do list or all the projects, all the undone things, a memory, a story, right. some anxiety of what might be coming up um, in your future, just drop right back into that breath. Gently, compassionately invite yourself back to the present moment. Breathing in, breathing out. And now I want you to expand your awareness to fill up your chest cavity, your heart, your lungs. As you breathe in and as you breathe out, I want you to imagine your heart 
breathing. Breath moving through your heart. Your breath is moving through your heart. Your heart is breathing. Your heart is receiving breath on the inhale and giving breath on the exhale. You breathe in and you breathe out. Bring to mind now something that you are profoundly grateful for. And once you have that, to bring it into your body like a feeling, something that you're grateful for. Often I use the furry ears of my dog because I can feel them. Even if my hands aren't touching his ears, I can, and I love them. I love the warmth and how soft they are. So what are you grateful for as a thought? And then allowing that to drop right down into your heart and feel the gratitude. Find a bodily sensation with that gratitude. Maybe it's warmth. Maybe it's, it's just this expanded spacious feeling, softness. Whatever that is for you, I want you to feel it moving in and moving out, just as the breath moves in and out through your heart. Your breath breathes through your heart. As you receive the breath, you give the breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Keeping the awareness of that felt sense of gratitude, breathing in and breathing out. Recognizing that you re- as you breathe in and recognizing that you're giving as you breathe out. The breath breathes itself Attitude. and filling up your heart space. I want you to imagine that filling up your whole body, allowing the breath to fill up your whole body right along with that felt sense of gratitude. So the breath continues to fill up your whole body and you're feeling gratitude. As your breath breathes itself, as your heart breathes and circulates that gratitude throughout your entire body. And then that gratitude generated by your breath begins to reverberate and expand outside of you. Breathing in, you receive. Breathing out, you give. Breathing in, you receive with gratitude. Breathing out, you give with generosity. Breathing in, breathing out. Imagine gratitude and generosity reverberating you, reaching the people who you love, the people who are closest to you, your family, your colleagues, people in your community, people at the grocery store. As you breathe in and as you breathe out, recognize that this is peace coming from a felt sense of gratitude moving through your heart and reverberating out into the world. And stay here just as long as you want to. I'm doing your participation coming back to these videos and also for you putting yourself out into the world, for you making these tiny, small changes which impact in the trajectory of not only you personally in your life, but how you impact the world. I'm so grateful for you. And remember until next time, peace in, peace out.